Hey, what's up family? I'm not actually reading, uh, that's just to set the scene. Um, this vlog covers late March um, from like the 22nd all the way until the end of March. Uh, a couple cool things happened. I had an audition uh, that went well and ended up turning into this really weird shout out uh, for these six kids that found me on the street. Then uh, I filmed a project called Rad Dads on the 26th and I will link it right here when it's available. It comes out around Father's Day. Um, this is not pieced together very well because I was not recording as much as I should, so I will step in when I need to to deliver just some direction and connection. But we start off with my audition, and uh, let's go there now. So I just had my audition for Pisces, uh, which is the build at the building right behind me. It's an industrial project. And what makes industrial projects interesting is that uh, they're internal for companies. Sometimes they're for research, sometimes they're for like training videos or just, but it's all within a company. It's never to be premiered on TV or anything. And uh, this one paid surprisingly well. If I get it, I think it's like $1,000 per shoot day and a $3,000 buyout for like, so that, and the buyout so they can use it for a certain period of time. So it went really well. I made friends. I talked to people there and uh, I just tried to be the charming love of this woman's life like I was supposed to be. And I feel good about it. So now I'm on my way to meet Russell who's my modeling agent, who I have never met because usually he's in Vegas, but he's visiting until today. So, uh, uh, that's what's going on. Hey, some people are calling me, call me a vlogger. Let's go say what's up. So I'm walking and I hear people call me a vlogger. It's this group of cool dudes. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 so you gotta tell me your names. Give yourself a shout out. What's the shout out? Go follow me at Solomon Brownstein. Okay. Dylan Shapiro underscore. At uh, oh. Jasper HBS. At Jules.mp2. Uh, Binky the Slinky. Jimmy T. Bruce. Ooh, Binky the Slinky. I love it. Cool, Binky guys. Binky on okay. on SoundCloud. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh. Binky. Yeah. Ding. Da, 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 da. Who's there? Oh, I always forget this is a push door. Everybody, you're. you're yeah. That's the game plan. That's That's good. This is Russell, and we finally met. Hey. Finally met. Yeah, yeah, he's usually in Las Vegas, but he's here until just today. Uh, this weekend I go back. Yeah. I'm back. I'm done going back to Vegas. Are you gonna come to EDC with me? Uh, we'll think about it. Come on! You gotta go. Hey, girl, you gotta come. I got to you work. Come too. My it's, cements are gonna get low. It's a, it's a weekend. Hey, Russell, I haven't got an audition this whole week. I'm like, oh, because I'm at EDC. That's why you got no audition. I didn't do any cement. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, what's up family? Today I am busy doing a couple things. Um, I had to return a couple things to Amazon and uh, more importantly I decided I'm going to get my California driver's license today if I can. I've been at the DMV for like an hour and a half. I finally just got my number uh, so I think it's probably just like you know a ton more waiting before it gets done. Uh, but after I do this I'm going to go home and edit some video uh, for this vlog and uh, for some cereal snob stuff, and then I have I'm filming at four o'clock in Burbank for a fathered project, which comes out sometime in June, I think. Um, what's cool about that video is, is it at, they were asking for dads who live far away from their kids, and that's something I do. My daughter lives in Arizona most of the time, although she visits me for the summers, which is this this is the second summer she's going to be here all summer. I just confirmed that with her mom, which is exciting because uh, well, I mean, when you love your kids, you never want to be away with, from them. Um, so when you get all that one-on-one, -on -one, all the time time, it's like, good. As soon as I was done getting my license, I ended up driving over to Soul Pancake to start filming. They put me in makeup, I got into my room, um, and they interviewed me for like an hour. And I thought that was great. I talked a lot about being a dad and how much I just love being a dad. Then after the first hour, they had us change battery packs on our, the mic I had, and they changed the camera setup. I go back in, and... Uh, I sit down, we continue the interview, and uh, after a couple of minutes, they say, okay, Thomas, um, that's pretty much it for what we have, um, but we have a dad expert we want you to talk to. Um, and they're like, hey, come on out, dad expert. So I look to my side, and I kid you not, my daughter is just standing there looking gorgeous as heck, and I just like, I burst into tears, and I just run over to her and hug her and tell her how much I love her, and... Um, I've never been more surprised in my entire life, which led me to this moment. My eyes are all red because I'm sleep. I was crying a lot. Scarlett, you got baby mama, Stephanie, which is the actual title. I know, sorry. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, how, how's today been? Good. Yeah? Tell, how, so you've been lying to me for a little bit about you knew you were going to come and you didn't tell me. Oh, and there's a picture here. Yeah, I mean, it. you make you be chocolate chip pancakes? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, chocolate chip pancakes, people. What are these blue things? What's this? Water? They're bubbles. Oh, like boiling then, something? And then that, no, that's the bubbles from the sink because the sink is bubbling. Oh, I see. I love it's it. Because the black thing right there in the water, that's the dish. Oh, I see. So it's just a dirty sink. And that's you and like your clothes from today. Yeah. Almost. I was, like, to copy did you get, Did you get this outfit just for this? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a cute ass outfit. Mm -hmm. And after that, I was so amazed. I kissed and hugged my daughter and her mom, which I don't ever do because we don't have a really good relationship. And I was like, I love you guys. And uh, Scarlett, my daughter, was like, you love mom? And I'm like, yeah, of course I love mom. I, I know it doesn't seem that way all the time, Scarlett and some people, if you hear me talk about her, but I love her. She's half of my child and she's with her all the time. I, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing without her and I appreciate her so much. So we had the most amazing night getting cupcakes. Well, we decided to get some Sprinkles cupcakes. And we're hanging out at the Americana because uh, what else are you gonna do when you're in Glendale in this area, right? What? This time I'm actually here. Yeah, you're here. Well, you, she came here once before, but it's been a while. But look at this fountain. Holy crap. Oh, it's pretty. People can get sprayed by that. I know. What a, what a nice day to be together, right? I wanna go on the trolley. We should go on the trolley. Scarlett, do you want to go on the trolley? Yes. Yeah, we totally should. Where is the trolley? I wouldn't want to think. Here. Here. Yeah, look at that. Water. Let's watch the water fill in the trolley. Steph had to stop and look at the potato corner because why? <laughs> because she really likes potatoes. That's the Irish in her. Huh? That's all these questions. <laughs> And after all this, she came over to my house. We had a really good time hanging out just with my roommates and stuff. And that was so, so fun. Uh, we just relaxed. We drank a little bit. We played video games. And I haven't had a good time like that with my baby mama since uh, uh, almost 10 years ago. I mean, since, since before we broke up. It's amazing. And I, I felt um, so happy because I never thought in my wildest dreams my daughter would be flown out of here to my surprise and I'd be able to hang out with her and her mom on the same day in Hollywood? What? I loved it. It'll definitely go down in history as one of the, if not the, most intense emotional experience of my life. I had so much fun and it gave me hope that maybe one day me and my daughter's mom can be friends. And maybe one day we can like... <sighs> You know, just be around each other more and be closer as a family, like an actual family, instead of being two people at odds with each other all the time. Uh, being a single parent is not easy. If I would recommend it to anyone, uh, I, I just wouldn't. I don't recommend it to anybody. There's, it, the only advice I can give you is uh, try not to be a single parent, and if you have to be, do your best to not be an asshole, um, which will be hard. Hey everybody, it is the 27th of March. We're eating breakfast at IHOP. We got Bartso and Tweedledee. And just like that, I just dropped Scarlett and Stephanie off at the airport and uh, they're gone. It's so crazy how an experience uh, where I'm just trying to do my acting, modeling thing, turns into this family reunion and how amazing it was. So uh, thanks for following me along and I'll talk to you guys soon. Then to finish off the month, um, I got to hang out with my friend Lindsay and we went to see Marshmallow at some rave at the Los Angeles Convention Center, and it was such a good time. Uh, thank you, Lindsay, so much. I met her Beyond Wonderland. You saw her in my last vlog, and I just, I had such a blast. Logic had an appearance. I made so many new friends, but the production value on things are crazy. Look, there's lasers and fire and streamers. Everyone's getting caught in webs. It is insane, uh, but I had a blast, and I got to give away some candy, which was really cool because I wanted to give those away. And um, it made me even more pumped for EDC because I'm going to have a really good time. With all that being said, I feel like I learned a ton at the end of the month here. Um, I learned most importantly that I don't actually know what's possible. Because if, I, if someone were to tell me, hey, uh, we were going to pay your ex to fly her and your daughter out here to see you to make you happy, um, that's happening. Even if they told me that before I knew it, I wouldn't have believed them. I'm like, that's not possible. She wouldn't do that. I just... We've never had a relationship where she would do things to be nice. 
even if she's getting paid for it. But holy crap, it happened. Um, my agent, Russell, really cool guy, and I can't wait to hang out with him more. Um, maybe in Vegas at EDC, or maybe just when he's in town. Uh, but it's nice to meet those people because they're the people in charge of my career, you know? So if you're in charge of my career, or like helping me, like he's gonna help, he's gonna know me more to submit me for better projects because he's been in the same room with me. And then, um, uh, oh, the friends you make at one place, obviously we know this, but like you never know where relationships are gonna go. And I had such a good time with Lindsay at Beyond Wonderland, even though we didn't hang out too much then, but I had an even better time hanging out with her at uh, the Marshmallow concert. So I'm so grateful for my friends, uh, my roommates for hosting me and my baby mama and, her, and, and my daughter for a little bit because they were so kind and everyone else. The life is so good and I have no reason to complain. Uh, my book recommendation, if you guys care, is The Alchemist. It's all about following your dreams and kind of the journey along the way. It's fiction, but uh, it speaks a whole lot of truth, like all good fiction. Check it out. Anyways, that's it for me. For now, I'll check in with you as soon as I can. Love you guys. You're allowed to be on camera, you know. Yeah! No, not without consent. That's not true. <laughs> in the state of California, if you're in the state, you're um, agreeing to... Is that true? That's absolutely bullshit.